Welcome to Controverse Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reach maximum equipment level in Stranger of Paradise. I just finished the game and I loved it. It was really good. If you're a big Final Fantasy buff like myself, you'll really enjoy this. I mean, I'm telling you, um, the twist, the story twist, the plot twist right at the end, it's really insane and it's, it's just, it's so good. And I recommend this game to anybody that's a Final Fantasy fan. All right, um, so I'm gonna start off by saying that you need to have the side mission, Coral Memories, the Greedy Unlocked, all right? So you can farm one of two things. You can farm Anima Crystals, right? In order to unlock the different tier levels of this this side mission's difficulty. So, so you do that, right? You're gonna, that's where you're gonna start. So don't worry about the level. Don't worry about your level in comparison to the actual level because the lowest level, uh, mission level, is 175 on Chaos. So even if you're less than that, like when I first started doing this, I was like, um, I was like a little bit over 100. I was like one, I think I was like 105, 110 equipment level or something like that. So like right after you beat the game, you're gonna be roughly around 100, all right? So don't worry about that though, that doesn't matter. So what you wanna do is just make sure you have enough Anima Crystals to unlock the first tier. So you unlock the first difficulty tier, right? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna boot this mission up. So right now I'm on mission level 300, but ignore that. That's only because I've been doing this farm for a while and you know, and it does work. It's, it took me only a couple hours to hit 300. So, so we'll start this up. So in this mission, all you have to do is you got to collect every single chest, hoping that one of them, which is RNG based, hope, hoping that one of them has the trident that you're looking for. When the trident drops, that's when you complete the, the mission, right? So it can be literally 10, 20 seconds, or it can take you like 30, 40 seconds, just depending how fast you want to complete it. And, you know, so... But what you want to do, though, especially if you're just starting out, okay. you want to collect all these purple orbs here. See, I got 295. That's that's low for me right now, right? But relatively speaking, you're going to be getting um, equipment and weapons based on the mission level, right? So, so but. I feel like the easiest way is just collecting these orbs. And then if you end up dying, it's okay. You know, it doesn't matter if you die. Oops. It doesn't matter if you die. Because you're you're gaining equipment that's around your level and you know, it's RNG based too, right? So So watch, I'll probably die here. But it's okay. I got the you know, I got the chest. Oh, I didn't die. Okay, we're good. I like to buff myself here. Um, so yeah, and then you there's another orb here. And that's all you really do. You just collect these items. See, I'm getting 295, 295. But once you hit like 297, it gets really slow. So like, it's gonna be really hard to find um, equipment that's higher than your level or higher than your gear level. And but yeah, that's that's all you really have to do. And then if you want to farm the Anima Crystals, you just look for every single chest and complete the mission as fast as possible. And then that's, that's it. So yeah, I died, but it's okay. Because I gained, I already gained levels. Like when you're at 100 and then you gain like 175, right? You're gonna you're gonna be getting drops of 175, so you're gonna be already boosted up to that level. So that's that's all you really have to do. And then you just rinse and repeat, like. But you have to restart the whole mission in order for the orbs to spawn back. So just keep that in mind. So if you're focusing more on the orbs and collecting Hell chests, man. then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to restart the whole mission completely, or at least finish the mission. I would recommend finishing the mission and then, you know, because then you'll get the Anima Crystals for it, right? So you just 
Come here. This might be worth using. See, take that. I don't know, 293. I'm getting bad drops. It's like I said, it's RNG, right? So don't be, uh, you know, don't be frustrated if you, you realize after a couple of runs you're not really getting gear that's the same level as your equipment level or higher. It, it takes a bit of farm. There's a lot of farming involved, so. But like eventually, like it didn't take me long though, especially early on, you're gonna be getting those, um, those higher um, gear that you want, higher, higher pieces of gear that you want. Let's go. See, there's a chest there. I hate these guys here. That's that. See, we got the trident. We finished it. There we go. So mission complete. We got a bit of loot. We got um, the chests, you know, and uh, we got the trident. We finished it. You can speed that process up a lot quicker, but that's basically all you do, guys. And then you keep doing that. Just keep doing it over and over. And then you'll gain infinite amount of animal crystals and then you can unlock all the tiers and then you'll be getting a bunch of drops for gear and then it'll just keep going up like like if i show you here all this gear that i have at 297 this is all from this level this is what I, there's probably a more efficient way of uh getting you know quicker gear um or higher level gear but yeah, I just feel like this This is just so much easier. It's less complicated. It's easy. Anybody can pick it up and just jump in and, and just start farming. So, And this is this works, right? I literally just did this yesterday. So, it, um, yeah, so I hope it helps you out. I hope you guys level up. I hope you max out your equipment level to uh, 300. Oh, and to anybody that's going to ask in the comments about, um, like, what about... Um, you know, leveling up your job, let's say. Like, if you want to level up your job and you want to get it, um, you know, after you complete certain missions, um, you'll be able to boost your job level past 30. So once you complete those missions, then this farm is also beneficial because you can just keep farming anima crystals and then using those crystals to boost your experience through the job. So that's that's also something you can do as well. So, I mean, this is a great I I personally think it helped me out. It didn't take too long to reach to, you know, 298 equipment level. And, you know, I'm super powerful and I'm probably going to do this with all my favorite classes. And you should, too, honestly. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, guys. Hope this helped you out a lot. Make sure to follow. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment and also follow my Twitch. All right, because I stream games regularly, and I hope to see you guys there. Peace.